business owners, and executives from around the valley. This is Business Leaders with Lance Cardoza. Welcome to Business Leaders. Lance Cardoza here in the studios of KMPH Fox 26. Each and every week, Tuesday mornings at 11, I bring you another edition of Business Leaders. You can cast, catch this episode and other episodes by going to businessleaders.tv. Chance James is on the show, photographer, artist, and uh, professionally you've been doing this since what, 2008? 2008 yeah, yeah. as an artist and a photographer. Yes. And, your, uh, your wife encouraged you to chase your dream and go after it and just do it. Yes, well, it was, uh, it's a hard decision to make, you know? You have to have a job, it's secure, and then what happened is I, I ended up being laid off my job when things were kind of crazy with the economy, yeah. that, you know, that time, so. 2007, 2008, yep. yeah. yeah. So it was like, all right, let's do it now. We didn't have kids and we were, we were young and um, ambitious and naive probably a little bit too, but yeah. we did it and, you know, it's been a rough road sometimes, but it's been a great, great journey too. So it's up and yeah. up and down. And, and with art, art is sort of one of those things in photography. There's the type of photography that you really enjoy that maybe doesn't pay you. And then there's yeah. the photography that pays you that you really don't enjoy. <laughs> but yes. all together, you tie it together. Yeah. And it's all art. And today, everybody's a photographer with, with these. Oh, yeah. You know, and everybody yeah. has 4K and everything else, but a true photographer. A videographer, an artist, uh, it's an art for a reason. And when you see that artist get behind the camera or behind the brush, it makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, people have been saying, oh, these phones, how great they are for a long time now. But it's really not, that's not really the key. It's, it's the eye and it's the, it's the experience and it's all the stuff that goes along with it, not just having a good camera in your hand. So it's, um, it's been a cool thing I've been able to do it for so long. It truly, yeah. it truly does, yeah. So abstract art, what got you uh, doing abstract art? Um, it's just, it seems like it's the way I can express myself. Um, I was a fine art major in Fresno State. Um, okay. And that's what I did over there for a while. And I, I tried a lot of different things there. Um, but I, my passion really ended up just being what came naturally. And that was abstract art for whatever reason that was. Yeah. It became very natural, it became uh, very natural to me and something that I just loved doing. And it was very relaxing and also um, just what I felt like I was the best at. Um, yeah. And it kind of just progressed from there. So what, what, what got you interested in abstract? Because uh, there's different mediums of abstract art. And maybe you could talk about what what is your medium? What do you like? What do you yeah. like to work in in abstract? Um, what got me interested, particularly in abstract art, was the um, the ability to read into it whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I think from when I would go to an art gallery, you know, seeing stuff that was very realistic was, you know, incredible. I, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of Renaissance stuff when I you know traveled Europe, that sort of thing. But um, sitting in front of a piece and letting it resonate with you personally for Maybe the reason it isn't so obvious mm -hmm. um, really drew that, really drew me to that. And I, I like to do that for other people too. I like to, when they have a piece in their home and people come over there to see their stuff and they go, oh, people see it, so many different things in it. Mm -hmm. That's really interest, interesting to me. And I, I think that that adds a whole other layer to what it is than just a beautiful yeah. portrait of something, you know, yeah. very realistic. What, what it means to you yeah. and what it means to somebody else can be two yeah, different completely. things and, I think and that's their perspective. I think that's yeah. really a really cool thing that we can do as artists that yeah. can bring something out in someone else that they didn't, yeah. maybe th weren't thinking about. So Yeah, weren't thinking yeah. at all. Yeah. Uh, a good friend of mine, and she's out of Lemoore, and she did backings for Hollywood Studios, Joey Wester. Oh, cool. And uh, Joey's done a lot of abstracts and has been a lot of films with her stuff on the walls. And what was cool about with Joey when she was learning is, she was doing a painting up close, and I remember her telling this story, and the professor told her to step back, yeah. stop, step back and look at what you're painting. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of a sudden, one day, uh, she was painting, and I remember another story she, that was told that she they gave her a huge brush mm -hmm. and a huge canvas and said, okay, what you're doing there, go do over here. Here you go, yeah. go. And that's pretty scary when you do that first big piece, but oh, you yeah. said you do a lot of large abstract pieces. I, I do. Large for people's homes, for sure. I mean, um, yeah. four by eight, six by eight, um, upwards of that. Um, also, that mural I did, which was very large downtown. And yeah, talk about um, that mural. So that mural? That is right on the corner of well, 41 and Ventura, mm -hmm. um, kind of where the old spaghetti factory was. People from Fresno probably all know where that is. But okay. it was, I think, 100 feet long, 30 feet tall or so. Yeah. Um, 
So if you're coming down 41, you can see it as you're looking out your window on the right-hand side. Talking about um, the Bitwise 41 building. Yes. Well, yeah. it's yes connected to that hive. building. Yes. Well, not the Hive. Not the Hive. The 41. You did the 41. Okay. Yeah. The Bitwise 41. Um, so that was a really kind of daunting task, yeah. um, going from you know stuff that goes to people's homes or offices to a big wall, wall with a, yeah. you know scaffolding and you know and big paint sprayers and all kinds of stuff was a totally different thing. Um, yeah. But it's a challenge. I was. Was that the ready to take so on. that was the largest mural that you had done at the oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when yeah. you saw that wall and uh, who introduced you to it and said, We want you to do something on this wall. Well Bitwise came to me, yeah, yeah, and said they needed something to put up there, which you know, I was honored to be able to do something for them. So yeah. it was really cool. Right. Yeah, cool. yeah. So cool. it's it's it gets a little graffiti on every once in a while, but they they patch it up and oh, it's yeah, still going good. <laughs> yeah, well that's what's nice with the mural. Sometimes it looks like it belongs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. So when you get inspired to do a piece like that, and a mural's a little bit different because it's a vision from the client yeah. and what they're seeing. So how, to explain that process when you get, uh, you get hired to do that and they come to you and say, we'd like to see this. How, how was that creative process? Well, with Bitwise specifically, it was, I had a lot of creative freedom, which was cool. Um, awesome. So what I wanted to do was sort of incorporate, there's three, if you've seen it, there's three big animals down on the wall. Um, kind of all representing what for kind of downtown and its journey means to me. So there's a fox, kind of the ingenuity of, of, the, of the creative community down there. Yeah. And the, there's an owl, which, you know, has some kind of symbolizes the wisdom and sort of um, it being sort of the foundation of Fresno. And yeah. then there's a big bear, which I feel like Fresno has a lot of strength to it and untapped potential. I think downtown's going to kind of move us in that direction with, with the strength it has. So those kind of, and then all of the stuff fills it in. Is, there's a lot of abstract stuff involved in that piece too, but yeah. um, it was cool having some freedom. Yeah, and them. so at first when you're doing a mural like that, you sketch it out, mm -hmm. show the, the you're being it's yeah. a commissioned piece. Yeah. And then from there, the color palette and what you're going to do yeah. with it. So you that creative like process yeah. before you even get to the wall is daunting. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. it's very daunting. Yeah. Hopefully they like it. Hopefully, you know, works out. And then if they do, what? how do I going to do this thing? I mean, it was... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Once you get it, then it's like, okay, <laughs> oh, go. Oh, no, now I got no, it. I have to no, do it. Yeah. yeah now yeah. I got to make it look like I told them it was going to look. Yes, for sure. Yeah. And then through that, there's always, I'm sure, some turns and different things that happen along yeah. the way. Yeah. But uh, so when we come back, we're going to talk about also your other passion, which is photography. Okay, great. We're just coming off Mother's Day, and uh, you were out there showing your stuff out at uh, yeah. Clovis with, uh, for Mother's Day. So we'll talk about his photography with Chance James, and we return here with business leaders. Make sure you go to businessleaders.tv and catch this this episode and past episodes. We'll be right back here at KMPH Fox 26 with business leaders. Don't go away. Welcome back to Business Leaders. My name is Lance Cardoza, and I want to thank our sponsor, Flooring Liquidators, for making this episode and all episodes every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. possible right here in the studios at KMPH Fox 26. Photographer, artist, right here in Fresno, Chance James is in the studios with Business Leaders. And Chance, we're talking about doing the big mural at Bitwise 41. Yes, yeah and uh, do an abstract art, and then all of a sudden you're doing a big mural. That's, uh, we talked about being a daunting task, but yeah. it's a beautiful mural. Thank and, you. Uh, as we see here on the screen, you'll be able to take a look at the beautiful mural in downtown Fresno. Any other murals on, on the? Uh, Not on the horizon right now, no. I'm focusing on more of my fine art stuff that's you know, home-based or you know, for yeah. offices, that sort of stuff right now. Yeah. And commissioned work? So I do commission work all the time. Yeah. All the time, yeah. okay. How do people find you to do art? Them. Um, word of mouth, mm -hmm. which has been great, honestly, for me um, over the years, but trying to shift that and doing more marketing and work trying to get out there and yeah. meet people and do shows and that sort of thing. So, um, Website or a place they can find you online? Yeah, my website, chancejames.com. Perfect. Um, That's pretty simple. Pretty simple, yeah. Yeah, chancejames.com. See all your artwork. Before the break, we were talking about your other passion. And uh, before we get to photography, that's your children. Yeah. Uh, being a dad is yes. uh, one of your uh, big passions and reading your bio and uh, 
uh, I know I have uh, two kids grown and now grandkids mm -hmm. and yeah. and uh, being a dad and now a grandpa is a huge passion. It's a lot of fun. It makes you sort of recharge and reset and at the same time pull your hair out. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yes. <laughs> All at the same time. Yes, definitely. So talk to me about your kids. So your kids are ranged from anywhere from 10 to 1? Uh, almost 2, yeah. Almost so two they're great. Old, yeah. I have four kids, boy, girl, boy, boy. Uh, yeah, 10, 7, 5, and almost 2. Wow. And they're amazing and and a lot of fun. A lot of fun. For sure. And the two-year-old thinks they're 10. And, oh, and at <laughs> least, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is into everything, I'm sure. <laughs> everything. 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 Yeah. Any yeah. of them like to paint? They all love to paint, yeah. Oh, wow. Our two-year-old on the walls, so yeah. in our house, which is always fun to have to clean that up after him. <laughs> Yeah. So not scheduled paintings. Yes, so. my oldest. They've been they've been selling their own little paintings recently. Um, oh, my two cool. older. You know, they're they're really, they're into it. So it's it's really cool to see them, be excited about stuff creative. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And they see you doing it and see what you've done. Yeah. And I think excites them. Yeah, for sure. And I'm sure intrigues them, and the little one gets probably intrigued by everything that can yeah. be messy. Yeah. My wife paints too, so we're oh, wow. we're out there, and the kids see it, and yeah, I don't care if they grow up to be painters or not, but I, th I think it's cool to be able to be. Yeah, um, inspired at that young age and do something that's a little different. I yeah. was telling you, I, I paint a little bit more it's yeah. when, when I'm stressed yeah. or probably it's slow and I'm trying to figure out what am I doing with my time right now. Yeah. So I'll tend to go gravitate to that. But to me, it's a, it's a, it relaxes. The, the, the creative process of putting something together, your yeah. full focus is on that at that moment. Yeah. And your mind isn't anywhere else but in that. So mm -hmm. it's to me, it's a therapy, oh, if yeah. you will. It's very therapeutic, it. yeah. And yeah, for me, it's I, I'm not the most expressive person generally, so it's it's incredible to be able to to kind of put that what I feel out on canvas and, and just canvas. yeah be alone and and have quiet. Yeah, there was sure. there was a quote that I think I saw mm -hmm. that you put in there it was yeah. about yeah you about something about not expressing in words. If, I think it goes if uh, if I can say it in words, there would be no reason to paint by Edward Hopper, which I think it's, for me really resonates because yeah. that's how I feel like I communicate best. Yeah. Through the creative process. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Photography. What got you started in photography? Uh, well, I was at Fresno State doing art. Um, I had an old film camera. I was taking. So I took a photo class, a black and white film class yeah. over there as well, and I really enjoyed it. And, and someone said, "Hey, I'll pay you." Yeah. <laughs> so that's what got me started. Um, so I did weddings for a long time, um, okay. pretty much exclusively on that side of it, and you know, kind of building the business and. Um, and and then I would I'd branch out. I do mostly commercial stuff now for mm -hmm. businesses and okay. advertising that sort of stuff, which I really enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then so uh, through that, so businesses that are looking for a photography service or anything can contact you oh, through yeah. the website chancejames.com. Yep, definitely. Yeah. What what type of commercial photography are you dabbling in now? Um, ad stuff. I do a lot of things for healthcare with whether it's headshots or marketing for billboards or mm -hmm. other people's websites. Um, for the agencies, anything. whatever they're yeah, looking yeah. for, anything. yeah, yeah, and putting that together, and they uh, so in photography at Fresno State was it through the journalism class out there, or was it a separate class? I think it was a separate class. It was just yeah. a kind of beginning photography class. Yeah, I was I was in the fine art. I was in the you know art program. Yeah, and just had a you know, jumped over to do some photo stuff too. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. it all ties together. It's yeah, it definitely. All perspective and yeah, rule of thirds sure. and everything that you're putting together. Yes. What's amazing with art, there's sort of the rules sometimes go out the window. Yeah. And sometimes that is the most incredible piece or photograph you've done. Oh, yeah. It always uh, happens on accident. Yeah. Change, yeah. Changing the rules and doing <laughs> something from a different perspective and photographing it. Uh, tell me about one of your favorite uh, photography journeys or something that you did that you really enjoyed. Something that said, wow, I'm good at this and I enjoy doing this. Oh. Well, from the very beginning, I, it was just it was fun to get out and meet people. I mean, especially if I have a camera, it's, it's, it kind of builds your confidence. I can yeah. I can schmooze a little bit more when I feel like I'm doing something I'm good at. Yeah. Um, I've had to, I've had to do some really cool projects over the years. A couple of years ago, I was able to go to to India to do a, a photo um, kind of project that they're working on there and um, seeing different cultures and um, and really sort of being able to show what other people are doing and living, how they're living and, and, and yeah. get a message across that's important was, was really cool. So yeah. I've got so to do really interesting stuff like that too over the years. So it was culture, photographing their culture and bringing that to life? It was for a specific um, school there that needed okay. marketing done. Um, and so it was, it was showing their world really and trying yeah. to show that to the rest of the world to 
expose what they're doing and um, yeah. get exposure and get support and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Wow. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good gig. Yeah, it was, it was really great. <laughs> good yeah. experience to be able to go out there and do that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So if any, anybody's looking for professional photography or something, uh, maybe uh, it's a challenge and you say, hey, you know, I need to find somebody that's creative or the creative process or painting and murals which I don't know if you probably want to do another mural, <laughs> Chance, but yeah, maybe down the line. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with Chance James with more business leaders. Make sure you join me Tuesday mornings at 11 a.m. right here in the KMPH studios. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back to Business Leaders here at KMPH Fox 26. My name is Lance Cardoza. I've been sitting here with Chance James, photographer, artist. And uh, I love talking to a photographer and artist because those are sort of like hobbies of mine. Yeah. I mean, I did professional photography for many years, oh, which wow. led me to doing video and, and uh, film. I've done film and all sorts of different things over the years, but I've always had a passion for photography. Yeah. Because the same reasons you said, too. It was the way to talk to people. Oh, yeah. I liked talking to people, and I was good at it. Yeah. But hence, I have a TV show, and I talk to people. That's what, that's what go, I yeah. do. <laughs> but I love that part of it, to be able to bring that creative process yeah. and make them uh, relax. Because a lot of times people are nervous. Oh, I'm not good on camera. Or, you know, it's okay. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll take care of the camera for you. Don't worry yeah. about it. You know? so yeah. It's like, Perfect. Yeah. all you got to do is relax and be yourself. Yeah. And uh, I love doing environmental portraits, too. Uh, oh, cool. A lot of times people would want to overpose. And you'd say, no, you know, I want no, you to be in your environment. Be yourself, yeah. Be yourself. Yeah. And I'd want to interview people, too, and sit there and talk to them for a while to find out their mannerisms and everything they did with yeah. their day, especially a business professional or whatever that case was. So yeah, yeah. big passion for photography. Love art. Abstract oh, art cool. is yeah. one of the things I really like, too. So I'm yeah, going to really right there. take a oh, look yeah. at your stuff. Yeah. And <laughs> I agree with you too. It's a way to express. Maybe it's something you're feeling at that moment, or yeah, it's, yeah, that you can put that to canvas and share with the world. And I think the exciting thing about it is it lives forever. Oh yeah. You place that on the canvas, and it's there for generation mm. after generation. Yeah, and you can uh, look back and see what you might have been feeling all those years ago too yeah. when you did it. Yeah. Yeah. To see yeah. That, or see the progression of yeah. how how much better you've gotten, or how. How good you used to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can take yeah. a look. Say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that. And, uh, and to have your kids doing it too and your wife too, that's, that's a lot of, that's fun. It that, is really fun. It's yeah. a fun activity. Yeah. Being a father, not an easy uh, task. Uh, I think you mentioned in your bio when we were uh, was reading on my way here was um, it, uh, some, it energizes you to be the father, but at the same time it could drain you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's exhausting. Yeah. Exhausting. But it's exhausting. It's so fun too. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's. Uh, and anyone who has kids will, will realize that and understand that. I think that it's there's days that they're just oh, exhausting, but then once yeah. they're asleep, it's like oh, I miss them. You know, they're the best. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, my wife and I both have that journey we're on together of trying to be creative and and be entrepreneurs and raise a family, and it can be difficult sometimes. But that's what yeah. we chose, and I think you know we're super proud of exactly. what we've accomplished. And yeah. And you yeah. homeschool as well with four. Four children. Well, we, my wife does a lot of it, and we yeah. send them to some places. And they, they're always out doing stuff, so it's really yeah. cool. They're not, they're not home all the time, um, which is, I feel like it's been great for them. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, and what do you see in the future? Uh, you've been in this business of creative arts for many years now. And a lot yeah. of people might do it as a hobby. A lot of people might uh, go after that journey. You have a very supportive uh, significant other that said, I'm behind you and I believe in you and go yeah. do it. And I think that means a lot oh, yeah. to an artist to have mm -hmm. that support system and allow you to be creative and really go after oh, it. Yeah, definitely. I didn't realize you did the mural at Beltwise 41. It's a beautiful yeah. mural. Try oh. buy it every day. Thank you. Take a look at it. So uh, to have those opportunities like that, uh, you had a very supportive person in your life that said, yeah. Go after it. Yeah, definitely. And many years later, here you are still doing it. Yes. So what, what's the future look like? Photography and art? Uh, I know you have a big event coming up on June 2nd. Yeah. You it's, just had Mother's Day. You were out at Clovis. Yes, yeah. it was, that was great. Um, 
coming going forward there's yeah there's a we're doing our hop i'm gonna get back into that um june 2nd at jsa um which is downtown um it's the last time i did our hop which was two years ago before everything kind of went crazy yeah and the same building have a great location there the jsa uh, um, is jeffrey's scott, scott advertising agency. i'm sorry yeah. advertising yeah on fulton so, street down there yeah yeah so yeah. Jazz, jeffrey scott advertising you can find it right there on fulton street it's across from i believe cornerstone conference center yeah and the cultural arts park just mm -hmm. right down the way beautiful yeah. place oh, yeah, especially it's a great, art hop to come out at art it's hop. a great spot yeah i've had some studios downtown uh, over the years and it's, i love being down there and yeah. uh, that whole culture down there is really cool yeah very cool. Yeah. So what what type of pieces are you going to have at JSA? And it's June 2nd. June 2nd, Thursday, so Thursday the first Thursday yeah. of June. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be, um, oh, well, I'm going to be offering a lot of prints, um, which is something I've been doing new this year. Okay. I've, I've strictly kind of done original stuff for this whole time. Um, mm -hmm. And so like at Mother's Day, I had a lot of prints out there at, yeah. at, at the, um, at the, uh, what am, I, what am I trying to say here? The Mother's Day event. Yeah. The, the Mother's Day event. Clovis, yeah. 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 Um, and so JSA will have the same. All prints that, you know, lower price point that kind of get people in to art, you know, who yeah. might otherwise not make that yeah. investment. So and then I'll have lots of um, um, large abstract stuff too available. Um, yeah, or, or space not, on a wall or if yeah. they have a piece of your art, they can still have a piece of your yeah, art. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, then yeah. I'll, and then I'll bring my original stuff too. And um, it's cool to just meet people. And um, and I'll be, I'll be posting about that on my Instagram and and all that stuff as well too when that's coming up and yeah. Uh, yeah. What have you learned as an artist and to dabbling in it myself, what have you learned like how to price your art, how to put value to your art? Mm -hmm. That's probably a very hard thing for an artist yeah. because you would do it for free because you just love it that much. Yeah. Uh, where, where do you find that happy medium on putting value to a piece of art? That's one of the most difficult things for an artist. I think um, most artists really, really struggle with that. I did too at the beginning. You know, yeah. you don't feel like you should be able to charge for something that, like you said, you would do for free. Yeah. Um, but then you, you know, as you're going, people kind of assign value to it almost as they see it. And then I think at the very beginning, you can kind of take that and go, oh, someone will pay this amount. That's really cool. I didn't think that would be possible. Yeah. You know, and you, start, and you kind of just lay the groundwork of what people are willing to pay in the beginning for sure. And then, yeah. you know, kind of. I mean, because your you know, experience and what you bring in your eye is valuable. I think yeah. for a lot of artists, they struggle seeing that as valuable, but um, it is, so for wow. sure. Because I, I see, I hear that all the time with artists, but the, the purchase, the person that buys it is the one that places the value <laughs> on it. Chance James, thank you for being on the program. That's all on. the time we have. Business leaders every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. Join me right here. It's been a pleasure, and we'll see you next week.